ears find the volume of the solid that's rotated around the x-axis so what happens here is you can think of this as um well pretend the pink pink purple line isn't there uh, when you rotate this across the x-axis you get like a semi well you get a kind of a dish but what happens here is um this gets wrapped around the equation to what's underneath y equals x and the reason i state that is because how you set this up is it's going to be so pi on the outside there pi, uh, pi times radius squared is the area of a shell but what we do is we square both of these so we have our um 2 minus x squared squared minus our x and then we square it and that's how we subtract that volume and we get the shaded region okay so uh, we need to integrate that so when we integrate that what we end up with is let me do this really quick so it ends up being 4 minus 4 x squared plus x raised to the fourth minus x squared. So we end up with, um, so that's minus 5x. So we end up with um, 4, th now I'm integrating 4x, and that's minus 5x, so minus 5x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5. And we're going from 0 to 1. I should have wrote that down a while ago. All right, so the nice thing about zero is I know everything's going to be zero in here, so it's just going to be, I'm just going to multiply by one, so we get four minus five thirds plus one fifth. And when we do that, um, so I need a common denominator here. So it looks like 15, so 60 over 15 minus 25 over 15 plus three over 15. So I get th uh, 35 plus 3, it's 38 over 15 times pi. So our total volume, when everything's said and done, is 38 f over 15 times pi. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching the video, and you have yourself a great day.